The question says 50 ml of 0.1 molar solution of a salt. You can see unknown salt is given here. The chemical formula for the salt is not given here. Reacted with 25 ml of 0.1 molar solution of sodium sulfide. Sodium sulfide chemical formula is what? Na2SO3. Okay, you can see sulfide ion is given here. Okay. The half reaction for the oxidation of sulfide ion is. Sulfide ion is undergoing oxidation reaction. You can see electrons are added on the right side. Means this is what? Half oxidation reaction. Okay. Further it says if the oxidation number of metal in the salt was 3, unknown salt is given there but in that salt metal is there in which metal is present in plus 3 oxidation number. Of course pass to 3 will be there because metal is there. What would be the new oxidation number of the metal? When the salt is participating in the reaction of course there will be change in its oxidation number. What is the new oxidation number for the metal? Very interesting question. Okay. Anyway, something is missing here. You can see this is what the sulfite ion and it is converting into sulfate ion. SO4 it is 2 minus and it is undergoing oxidation. How? If you calculate it, 2, 3, 6, minus 2 is there, it is present in plus 4. And it 4, 2, 8, minus 2 is there, it is present in plus 6. You can see there is an increase in oxidation number of sulfur. Increase in oxidation number, we have learned increase in oxidation number is always oxidation reaction. Then we can say, you can see sulfur is undergoing oxidation reaction. Sulfide ion is undergoing oxidation reaction because there is an increase in oxidation number. Okay. Now this sulfide ion is reacting with what? Salt in which metal is present in plus 3 oxidation numbers. So we can write the equation. Okay. Pay attention very carefully. Let's say metal is there. Okay. And in this case metal, you can see is present in plus 3 oxidation number. This information is given in the in this sentence. Okay. And this is reacting with what? Sulfite and ISO3 it is 2 minus in which sulfur is present in plus 4 oxidation number. Other side. You can see we are getting X which we have to calculate. In which oxidation number this metal is converting we do not have any idea. Okay. Based on the data we will calculate. Okay. And sulfite ion is converting into sulfate and ISO4 and it is 2 minus in which sulfur is present in plus 6 oxidation numbers. Okay. So now you, you just apply the logic. Very interesting part is there. If you look at here, you can see this is what oxidation reaction is taking place. Sulfite and sulfur in undergo undergoing what oxidation reaction because there is a increase in oxidation number. So now if metal is participating in the reaction, then it is supposed to undergo what a reduction reaction. Reduction reaction because if this portion is what oxidation reaction, then metal is supposed to undergo a reduction reaction. Very interesting. And now from here, see the information which we are going to derive. See, increase in oxidation number is always oxidation. And then decrease in oxidation number is always reduction reaction. Let me write it. Decrease in oxidation number is always reduction reaction. Okay. It means this plus 3 oxidation number of metal is supposed to decrease. Huh? Plus 3 oxidation number of the metal is supposed to decrease because it is undergoing what reduction reaction. Means whatever the x value is supposed to be here, it is supposed to be less than 3. Then it will undergo reduction reaction because decrease in oxidation number is reduction reaction. So from here one thing is very clear. Whatever the x value we are going to find here, we are going to find here it is supposed to be less than 3. Very interesting question. Okay. Now what is the data provided here? Okay. Apply the concept of milliequivalence. Okay. So you can see the data is given for the sulfite ion. Okay. And data is also, you can see data is also provided for the salt. Okay. What is the data provided? You can see volume is given, the concentration is given there. And for the sulfite ion also, you can see volume, volume as well as concentration is given here. Very interesting and significant concept we can apply that is milliequivalence. Volume is given there in milliliter, then we apply milliequivalence concept. Okay. So I can say number of milliequivalence of this salt solution is equal to the number of milliequivalence of this sulfite ion. Okay. And for this, uh, we can uh, apply the formula. Okay. We have number of milliequivalents. Number of milli equivalents of uh, M3 plus. M3 plus is equal to. Okay. This is a especially salt in which metal is present in plus 3 oxidation number. We have number of milliequivalents. Milliequivalents. 
half sulfite and ether so3 it is to minus ethers based on the data we apply the formula of millikulens you can see volume volume and concentration is given there then we apply the formula number of millikulens remember very important number of millikulens is equal to molarity multiplied by volume in ml and multiplied by n factor value is there n factor value n factor is what difference in oxidation numbers for sulfide and you can calculate the oxidation number you can see difference in oxidation number left side it is present in plus 4 oxidation numbers other side it is present in plus 6 oxidation number difference in ox oxidation number 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 for sulfide and n factor value we got 2 is there okay for the metal and we cannot calculate because other side that x value is not known so that's why we cannot find the difference in oxidation number so we can do one thing we can calculate the n factor value for this metal ion okay now pay attention very carefully we have the formula we apply first of all number of molecules first is what molarity what is the molarity 0.1 0.1 multiplied by volume is what 50 and n factor value for the metal ion is unknown is equal to other side then we have number of molecules of sulfite sulfite ion in this case formula what is the molarity what is the molarity we have molarity 0.1 we have 0.1 is there multiplied by what is the uh, volume 25 ml and in this case sulfite and n factor value is already calculated that is 2 is there this is the setup we get and from here you can see we can calculate the n factor value for the metal ion in the given unknown salt very interesting question very interesting so now let's do the calculation here if you simplify so you can see we have 25 to the 50 is there 0.1 0.1 will cancel out okay and uh, this is what 2 and this is also 2 so will cancel out and factor value is 1 1 is there and factor value is 1 okay now pay attention very carefully for this metal ion uh, for this unknown salt in which metal is present in plus 3 oxidation number we calculated and factor value is what 1 is there and factor value 1 and how we calculate n factor value it is difference in oxidation number and here we have learned you know if it is plus 3 the x value is supposed to be less than 3 so we can say x is supposed to be less than 3 because this metal ion is undergoing reduction reaction reduction reaction if we find the difference in the oxidation number if we find the difference in oxidation number so we must write 3 minus x because x is a small value and 3 is the large value so n factor will be n factor is equal to our 3 minus x because difference in oxidation number and difference in oxidation number we always subtract a small value from the large value okay this is what we have n factor value you add 1 we can simplify so here we have 1 is equal to 3 minus x so x is equal to our 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so x value is supposed to be what 2 okay and x is what new oxidation numbers okay x is what a new oxidation numbers you can see option we are getting that is c option is there so whenever this salt is participating in the reaction so there will be change in oxidation number and new oxidation number for the metal the new oxidation number for the metal will be two very interesting question 